an iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator. An iPod, a phone. Are you getting it? These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. Today, today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. With a net worth of over $10 billion and best known as the co-founder and CEO of Apple, Steve Jobs' visionary ideas and attention to detail was inspirational to many technology and business leaders. Here's his top five secrets to success. We've always had a very different view of privacy than some of our colleagues in the Valley. We take privacy extremely seriously. As an example, we worry a lot about location in phones. And we worry that some, you know, 14 year old is going to get stalked and something terrible is going to happen because of our phone. And so, as an example, before any app can get location data, we don't make it a rule that they have to put up a panel and ask because they might not follow that rule. They call our location services and we put up the panel saying this app wants to use your location data. Is that okay with you? Every time they want to use it. You've got to be, you've got to be a really good talent scout because no matter how smart you are, uh, you need a team of great people and you've got to figure out how to, how to size people up fairly quickly, make decisions without knowing people too well, and hire them and you know, see how you do and refine your intuition and be able to, to help you know, build an organization that can eventually just you know, build itself because um, you need great people around you. I actually started on the tablet first. And uh, I had this idea of being able to get rid of the keyboard, type on a multi-touch glass display. And I asked our folks, could we come up with a multi-touch display that I could, we could type on, I could rest my hands on and actually type on. And about six months later, they called me in and showed me this prototype display. And it was amazing. And I gave it to one of our guys. This was in the early 90s. I mean, early, uh, early 2000s. And uh, I gave it to one of our other really brilliant uh, UI folks. And he called me back a few weeks later and he had inertial scrolling working and a few other things. Now we were thinking about building a phone at that time. And when I saw the rubber band inertial scrolling and a few of the other things, I thought, oh, my God, we can build a phone out of this. And I put the tablet project on the shelf because the phone was more important. And we went and took the next several years and did the iPhone. As some of you may know, about five months ago, I had a liver transplant. So I now have the liver of a mid-20s person who died in a car crash and was generous enough to donate their organs. And I wouldn't be here without such generosity. Beneath it, were the words, stay hungry, stay foolish. It was their farewell message as they signed off. Stay hungry, stay foolish. And I have always wished that for myself. And now, as you graduate to begin anew, I wish that for you. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Thank you all very much.